Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, we will explore one of the award-winning websites and we'll try to figure out how did they do this cool hover effect. But before we do that, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I found this cool portfolio from Robert Mastromarino from France on awards.com. And this is very, very cool website of the day from the September the 6th. And if we look at it, I refresh the page so we'll see the initial animation. And from the indication, we'll see that it's using GreenSock 2.0. So it's some of the animations on this side are definitely using GreenSock. But what caught my attention is this hover effect. Okay, so when you're hovering over the title of each of the projects. So even if I go to share, we'll see that same effect is applied to the second slide and third one as well. And in this video, I want to figure out how this was created. I was very curious. And then later on, we'll try to also recreate this effect. Okay, so firstly, figure out how it was created and then replicate it or I'll create a tutorial where you can learn how to do it. Okay, so let's inspect the title. And hover over. Okay, we'll see that we have some attribute style mask Y and mask X values are changing as we hovering over. So that's definitely some JavaScript modifying the mask Y and mask X variables. And let's see how the animation is done. Go to the animation tab and hover over. So we don't have anything inside of the animation tab. So this will not help us. But let's keep exploring the project title. Inside of it, we have two containers. One with the lighter version and one with the darker version. Okay, so the color is this light blue and oh sorry this one is the darker one so darker one is at the bottom and a lighter one on top okay so these two title wrappers have different colors and the title wrapper with the clone wrapper sitting on top of it which is the lighter version has also position absolute on it okay so that makes it sit right on top of the darker version and the clip path is what's making the mask move. So there is a polygon with a with, with something that looks like a complex calculation, but we can simplify it and for now just remove all the calcs and just make it 10%, let's say. And the second calculation will make it 80 percent okay so this is the value and this is the final thing that clip pass with the polygon with all these values creates this shape okay because before there was the variable the css variable mask x and mask y involved in the calculation means that when you hover over this element this clip path is also changing okay so for us, with these hard-coded values, to change it, we would need to increase and decrease it. And you see how both of them are affecting the final shape of the mask. Okay, so how it was done, there is a JavaScript that detects the position of your mouse within this title and updates the variables inside of the inline styles. And then the clone wrapper, the lighter version of the text is reusing these variables and with some looks like a complex calculation, but at the end of it, we get two values, either 10%, anything between zero and 100% for this value and this value. Okay, to give you a better understanding which side of the polygon we are animating or we are changing, let's have a look at this clippy. And here is the clip pass polygon. The 51 is the green dot. 
So we are only changing this value when moving the mouse to the left and right or the orange first number as well. Okay, so as we are moving anywhere across the title, this and this has been moved to the left and right. And that's the calculation that creates this cool effect. Okay, so in the next part of this video, or in the next video, we will try to recreate this effect using pure CSS, HTML and a little bit of JavaScript. So that's how it was created. And now let's get to rebuilding this effect. And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed today's deconstruction. And don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video where we will try to recreate exactly the same effect. Until then, happy coding. Bye.